There's a time and a place for everything. God's timing. Hey ladies, how you doing? This your girl, Charlie. I want to share this with you real quick. Sometimes we could push ourselves over the max, trying to make something happen. Trust me, I've been there and done that, right? And what happens is hopefully thinking that I'm going to get my break somehow if I push the timing, right? But I ended up exhausted and broke. <laughs> and I remember when my husband passed away. I realized that all of that stuff that I had done, none of it worked. Hmm. I wasn't paying attention to the timing. That's what it was. Because if I really had a focused on my career as a hairstylist at that time, because I had been a hairstylist nearly all my life. And it wasn't until I got with my husband that I realized that it was a game changer then. But the timing came when I connected with my husband and he encouraged me to go to school to start my hairstyling career, not realizing that that was gonna be a pivotal point for he and our relationship because he was a barber. But I said that to say that I just didn't understand something when it came to timing. I was young. And when you're young, you think you can do any and everything when you want to. But God is asking us to focus on one thing at a time and wait for his cue. Did you hear me? Wait for his cue. Because it's when it comes in dreams and when you keep seeing something that's appearing to you and he's trying to get your attention, that's telling you something. That's telling you something. Pay attention to the timing. It's all about being patient and recognizing when God is telling you to move, right? Hmm. Man, if I only knew. See, you in the time and the place right now, whatever you're doing is working. Get the most out of it. Don't shortchange it. Because there is only a season or two that you will be doing what you're currently doing. Because God is going to prepare you for the, for the next thing coming. That's going to be just for you. God will definitely make a way. I remember when I started, um, when I became a bus driver and I got my L's, right? But I didn't have a car. So out of nowhere, my uncle called me inquiring about my sister. And I said, well, I couldn't see about my sister because I didn't have a car, right? And he said, well, I got mama's car in the storage. Come get it. Huh? It was a little Toyota Echo. Now, he bought my grandmother this little runaround car in 1991. And my grandmother died in 2014. That car only had, that car only had 30,000 miles on it. But I didn't know that this was gonna be something that I needed to travel 90 miles a day going over to San Francisco. Again, timing. My uncle, I knew that he had the car, but I thought it didn't run. Lo and behold, he said, come and get this car. And I went and got that car and I drove to San Francisco every morning, 4.30 every morning on that highway. But as I'm driving every morning over to San Francisco, now I start to dream. And God showed me a glimpse that I was gonna move. Hmm. I didn't know that I was gonna move so soon because of course, you know, to live in the Bay Area is expensive, right? But 10 months later, God blessed me with a brand new apartment, two bedroom apartment in San Francisco. And it was affordable, affordable. See, God knows what he's doing. All you have to do is be in tune with your star player because he's going to, he's gonna tap on your shoulder, tap on your thoughts and ask you, are you ready? Are you ready? He's been showing you, you've been getting a little glimpse, 
but are you ready for where he's going to take you? So whatever situation that you may be in, it's only temporary. You are constantly moving and not to be stuck in one place at a time. So wherever you find yourself right now today, where you in a struggle situation or you in a situation where everything is on the up and up and it's moving, but it's all about God's perfect timing. So ask yourself, if you are ready to make some changes and you're not for sure, which direction should you go? He'll show you and he'll give you a glimpse. See, because once I moved to San Francisco and I was driving the bus, now I, I was thinking about something that I wanted to do 10 years prior. And that was to be able to work from home as a Medicare agent. And I didn't know anything about being a Medicare agent, but I knew that I wanted to do it. And I asked for this 10 years prior. So while 2019, when in 2019, I was like, okay, maybe, you know, this would be a time for me to think about doing the Medicare. But God said, not yet. I want you to focus on notary. Notary? Yeah, because when you go out and you see your clients, what do they ask for? They ask, do you know a notary? And I was like, yeah, you right. So I put everything, didn't know why, girl, didn't know why, girlfriend. I put everything I had into that notary. And when I took the test, I took the first test in October 2019 didn't pass it but i took it again around thanksgiving time in november and lo and behold i passed it so in De in january 2020 i was getting sworn in in san francisco at the county clerk's office okay cool so i'm gonna be a notary no big deal but i didn't know what god was preparing me for march 2020 my boss called me and said charlie take a break huh see COVID had hit boom didn't know what this meant we didn't even know what COVID was about so he told me to chill out take a break okay so while i was at home i was watching youtube and i kept seeing these these commercials pop up. These commercials was popping up and they was talking about they needed notaries. What was that about? I didn't understand, but God was giving me what he had told me and I was obedient. I was obedient, girl. God told me it was, it was about the notary. So I went online and I started applying for these loan signing companies because how I'm going to do a notary job, don't nobody know me, you know? Soon as I hit go, soon as I hit enter, <laughs> my phone started ringing. I didn't know what that was about. Whoa. I didn't even answer the phone the rest of the week, right? Not for those calls because then I started really watching these videos. What was notary about? So... I finally answered the phone and they needed me to do notary assignments. And this was loan signing. Now loan signing was, the documents was thick. And I was so nervous that whole weekend, I was watching all kind of videos, how to sign loan documents, you know, what you need to know. So what I would do, what I would do for the loan signing because I didn't know what they was talking about. I was using these little stickies on everything, right? And I told my first client, I said, look, I don't know what you're signing. <laughs> so if you remember Howie Mandel, uh, if you need a lifeline, I said, so if you need someone that you need to call, uh, you are my first appointment. My very first appointment doing this, right? Loan signing. And... They, the, the guy just happened to be an attorney 
And he said, Charlie, I know what we're signing. So from then on, when I tell you, girl, I was sweating bullets that day. Man. But it was again about that timing. Because after that, I felt like I could do this. I could do this. With a little practice, I'll understand the documents because even though the documents came from different uh, different title companies, they all kind of basically said the same thing. So before you know it, man, I didn't need to use the little stickies. I knew exactly what they were signing. I knew, you know, to tell them where to sign. And, and with notary, all you got to do is read the title of the page. That simple, right? So, girl, when I tell you I had did over 1,150 signings during COVID, 1,150, it was a game changer because not only did that, you know, about God's timing, it opened up the door for me to move out of San Francisco. And it opened up the door for me that I was able to buy me a new car. So just a lot of things that transpired, that happened. And it's just being at the, when you say at the right place at the right time, but really being in tune when God is speaking to you and he's showing you something and you, and you get right on it. You hear me? Because trust and believe there's always somebody waiting in the midst to do what you didn't do anything with it. So I'm just here to remind you today, trust and believe that he will make the crooked road straight for you, mama. Doesn't have to be perfect. It don't have to be perfect because like this, I'm working from home now as a Medicare agent. That finally came up, right? And so what, what happened? I'm focused on this, but now my notary business, I only could do it certain times of the day because I'm focused, because this is the season for this now. So that's all I'm telling you. When God is speaking, know that, let me see, I wrote this down. You could be burnt out, but blessed. The power of God's timing and how he makes the crooked road straight. Wow. He ain't going to tell you too many times. But I just hope that you listen. There's a time and a place for everything. Now, I got to get on the phone. Have a great day and we'll talk soon.